first speaker of the day, and it's the man who kindly agreed to host this conference. Um, he was the former head architect of Mayo County Council before being appointed director of services with responsibility for the West region. More recently, he was appointed chief executive of Mayo County Council and has been spearheading the, a vision that approach to the development and positioning of the county. Please welcome Peter Hines. Thanks, Philip. Uh, it's, it's a little bit like Eurovision. I'm not used to being mic'd up and uh, wired and all of that good stuff. So uh, it's, uh, it's an unusual thrill uh, to be at the cutting edge of technology as, uh, uh, as we see it. Uh, as Philip said, and thank you for the kind words of introduction, I offered uh, another couple of dollars if he put in all round good egg into the intro somewhere, but uh, obviously he's not that stuck. Um, I'm Chief Executive of Mayo County Council, which means that I'm uh, the manager for the local authority here, uh, and we're very, very pleased to have you all with us today uh, for a second drone conference. I have four, four jobs to do, basically. First thing is to say welcome. It is fantastic to see such a tremendous turnout, uh, and I'm certainly not going to take too much of your time just to give you an intro. A little bit of the story of Mayo, the county that you're in. The place that you're in is very, very uh, special, uh, not just to us, but I think when you see it uh, over the next couple of days, you'll realize just how special uh, and unique it is. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about the vision that we have for the place, uh, and then a little bit about our future. And our future includes you, by the way. Uh, and there is an ask at the end of this presentation, so uh, we'll get to that uh, just before we finish. Uh, for the geographers among us, the uh, county is about 2,500 square miles. It's 50 miles north-south, 50 miles east-west. Uh, population of 130,000, which means it's pretty sparsely populated. And it has a heritage going back 5,000 years. KG Fields is the oldest and the largest Neolithic farmed landscape in the world. It's up on our north coast. Many, many beautiful places, particularly along the coast, and you get to see some of those over the next couple of days. Places like Inish Turk uh, take a little far longer to get to, but well worth the trip. Uh, down Patrick Head along the Wild Atlantic Way around the Blowhole, uh, and many, many gorgeous places in Ackle. One of the things that you'll have heard about, I hope, at this stage, uh, no matter what part of the planet you're from, is the Wild Atlantic Way, uh, and Mayo, just in case there's any doubt or there's anyone here from any other county, Mayo is the heartbeat of the Wild Atlantic Way. If you, could, if you could tweet that and uh, whatever way you get it out there, I would really appreciate it. One of the most unique things about Mayo is the people, okay? Population here in 1841 was 400,000. It hit a low just in the 1920s, just before the 1920s of just over 100. So a lot of people uh, in very, very independent communities on the western edge of Europe for a very long time. Very resilient people. And because of the spread of uh, <clears throat> excuse me, people uh, in the last century, century and a half, uh, we reckon of the 70 million Irish people around the globe, at least three and a half million have Mayo DNA. So they are a force to be reckoned with and not to be trifled with. Our vision for the place, um, the vision for the county uh, that um, we enunciate in four words, sustainable, inclusive, prosperous, not rich, prosperous enough to look after our own needs and those of the people in the, in the county and proud. And you'll pick up, I think, on some of those during the course of the next couple of days. The county we're trying to build, vibrant, creative, industrious, and can do, and we want you to be part of that can do as well, which is why it's part of the reason it's so great to have you here. Good at a lot of things, uh, football up to semi-final level in the major competitions. Uh, you are also in the officially listed, for those of you who don't know the Irish Times, the Irish Times is the paper of record, it's the New York Times equivalent or the Washington Post, ran a competition four years ago for the best place to live in Ireland, Westport won it. Ran a competition two years ago for the best place to go wild in Ireland, North Mayo won it. Uh, and we're just wondering what the next one that we pick up will be. We also have a very understated, uh, very solid base in enterprise and creativity, over 3,000 businesses and some very well-known global names. For the Americans in the audience, um, does anyone know where the largest Coca-Cola concentrate plant in the world is located? Good guess. It's 50 miles north of here, a place called Ballina, 
and it is one and a half times bigger than the nearest, nearest equivalent. And for those of you who are Botox users, it's, it's all produced about 150 yards across the main road that you came in, out the front gate in, in the Allergan plant. So a lot of stuff comes out of here. And we're trying to build on that positive message uh, and the work of our Enterprise and Investment Unit, which was set up and headed up by uh, Joanne Grahan, our Director of Enterprise, uh, who will be with us uh, sometime during the morning, uh, and the team here, David and the others that you've met, uh, is all centred around that positive, can-do, uh, make-things-happen kind of approach. So if you're looking for location for business, connectivity, energy, location, vision, quality of life, we've got the lot. To talk about connectivity, we are about to become a major stepping stone from the US into uh, the EU. For those of you who may have heard the uh, AEC Connect, America Europe Connect Transatlantic Fiber Optic Cable is about 75% laid as we speak. The last section in Mid-Atlantic is being laid right now. When it goes live on 31st December, it comes ashore in Kalala, it will be its first cable to be laid on the Atlantic in 17 years and at full tilt, it has the capacity to double the existing capacity on the Atlantic in one cable. So we're very excited about it. Where it comes ashore is contiguous, co-located with a bioenergy power plant. Um, and that is on site, will be fired up by the middle of next year. You put the two together and you think of a location which has an international airport, and a vision for where it's going in the future. And we think the future could be and will be extremely bright. There's a little video which uh, tells the story of the county to date, and then there's an ask, maybe if we could play the video at this stage. Whether this is your first or 41st visit, there's always a Cade Mila Fulcher Road here in Mayo, the very heartbeat of the wild Atlantic way. Ireland's third largest county, with a landscape of rugged, spectacular beauty and superb quality of life, Mayo is a place of energy and enduring allure. Ancient history, 21st century connectivity and state-of-the-art technology sit side by side in a place apart, on the Atlantic edge of Europe. What better way to discover Mayo's charm than taking to the great outdoors? You'll see landmarks like Crow Patrick, and Clue Bay, Ackles' unforgettable sea cliffs, and Down Patrick Head, dotted along our coastline, which doubles as a natural playground for thrill seekers and adventurous souls. There's also a wealth of history and culture, world class fishing, golf, and walking, a wilderness to explore and great food, great music and great crack to enjoy. Want to know a little secret? There's so much more to Mayo than we could ever tell you about. Come see for yourself. Scattered far and wide across the country and around the world are as many as 3.5 million people with the green and red of Mayo running through their veins. There's none prouder than Mayo people fiercely loyal to home and passionate about their origins, regardless of where in the world they are. Their sense of place is strong and their love of home is clear. Mail.ie is a global hub for mail and its people around the world. A place to connect and collaborate on social, cultural and economic issues, to share good news and to catch up with friends, old and new. Ireland, the best country in the world to do business in, according to Forbes. Mayo's renown as a clean, green and blue county is part of its success as an alternative business location. Ask Allergan, whose global Botox production base is here on the western edge of Europe. Or Coca-Cola, who have 14 acres of manufacturing facility in North Mayo. With our own international airport, high quality infrastructure, a skilled and motivated workforce and a new fiber optic transatlantic cable, a technological game changer to unite North America and Europe right here in the west of Ireland. This connectivity makes Mayo an appealing business location. Mayo Enterprise and Investment Unit actively works with companies to deliver a suite of tailored business supports to ensure Mayo is the right fit for their business. Mayo 
There's a lot going on here. Ireland's longest coastline, a proud people, a renewable energy hotspot, Ireland's first female president, birthplace of river dance. Westport, the best place in Ireland to live. Eris, the best place in Ireland to go wild, and so much more. Mail, many places, many people, many parts, one county. See for yourself at mail.ie. Okay, that's the story of the county, uh, and just one word of warning, I'm not from Mayo myself, I'm from Galway, which is a bit like, it's a bit like saying you're from uh, New Jersey when you're advertising New York, but anyway, um, this is a much harder county to get out of than it is to get into. Uh, I came here for six months back in 1981, and I'm still trying to figure out where the exits are. Proportionately, you come for three days, you could be here for at least three or four months. So enjoy it, it's a fantastic, fantastic place. And our ask is that over the course of the next couple of days, uh, in the course of the conversations, you will meet a team of researchers that David and John uh, have put together. And uh, we would ask you to engage with them. If you have any suggestions, any ideas, anything that you'd like to put into the mix uh, that we should be doing, uh, we would very much like to make this county the drone capital of Europe. And that's the ask that you give us uh, your assistance and your help where you can over the next, co next couple of days to make that part of the dream a reality in the not too distant future. So that's it. Enjoy the trip. Join the Mayo Adventure. It's great to have you here. <laughs>